Hello everyone, welcome back for some more OSU World Cup group stages. My name is Bay, and I am joined by a man who needs no introduction, but the one and only Doomsday. How's it going, Doomsday? It's going good, man, going good. Relieved after earlier, to be honest. Yeah, congratulations on your win against China. 5-2 performance, showing the UK being as strong as everyone expected. How did you feel about the match? Um, I think it went really well, actually. Um, I'm pretty happy with the uh, some of the runs we got, with it being a bit early. Some people were a bit groggy, but I think we, we pulled through pretty well against, well, I mean, a team like China. You can't really complain with a good win against them. Pretty happy yeah. that it went. So now having beaten China and the Czech Republic, the uh, high seed and the mid seed in your group, leaving you only to place uh, Slovakia later, they're putting a pretty good step for getting out of groups, which is obviously, I think, expected for you guys. But I mean, you must be happy with your performance. Oh yeah, we'll see how we go. I mean, with, with two wins out of two, it's it's a good. St we'll see how we go against Slovakia later, but yeah, you can't really complain really. Two wins, it's all good. Yeah, better than two losses. Oh, definitely. <laughs> well, let's talk about our match. What we've got now then: France versus Taiwan, Group F. This Taiwan's final match in the group. France is second, and so far it's turned out to be a pretty uh, pretty interesting group. God, this. I mean, as soon as the draw went live for this, everyone knew. You see the teams in this group, you knew it was going to be an... And that's how it's turned out for France, to be honest, because, well, as it stands, they have a bit of a mountain to climb because the way this group's worked out. I mean, Hong Kong in this group has... I don't want to say surprised because they really haven't. They've always been good in groups and they've done it again. And now, because Hong Kong at the moment, they have a win against France, a really big one as well. And winning against Mexico, which puts them in the driving seat at the moment. It's all up for France now to try and bring something back, because they are one loss with two matches left. Yeah, France was well, pretty pretty well remembered from last year, of not making it out of the group stages, and it was, it was a big upset, I think, seeing France not get out into that qualifying rounds. But this year, they've uh, they found themselves in a really tough group, and now they have to. Uh, they have to win both their remaining games in order to qualify. They have to they have to beat Taiwan at least 5-2. If Taiwan take three points off them, then France can't even qualify, which is just crazy. Um, so it shows the real competition in this group. And they've got a really good lineup. I mean, I'll let you talk, I think we should talk about the teams now and actually the rosters that they're bringing because there's quite a few, quite a few changes from the previous year. So why don't you go and tell us about the, the two teams? Yeah, I mean, the French, uh, the French team... There's a lot of returning names from uh, last year, of course. Um, like they missed uh, the likes of uh, Poon, Nero, Musty all returning. As well as Ryzen as well. Uh, all these players have done well in a community tournament. And certainly have the, the capability. There's a few uh, new names backing up that roster now. Like some Muha, Oxia, Electro Firewall stepping in on this one. But the thing is, um, with their core squad they have, they should be... Uh, they're definitely in with a chance of pulling off this... Uh, well, it's miraculous. But Taiwan as well are in a similar boat. They have four people returning as well from their previous outing. Um, with Shield, Flask, Riser, all returning. Along with likes of Zane and Drizzle Rain. New names coming into the... So both teams, a mix of uh, experience and new names. Honestly, on paper, I think they're very well matched in terms of the players they have. But the thing is, at the moment, Taiwan in the, the driving seat, they have two wins to the name right now. It's up to France to try and bring it back. I'm gonna gather this is the, uh, the Taiwanese warm-up. Uh, well, if it's the first warm-up, which I believe it, well, I'm not sure. If it is the first one up, then this would be France's. But it doesn't seem like a France song or anything like that, so you might be right there. Mapped by Flask. It's like a wild guess. Okay, yeah. yeah. I think that's the other way. Flask <laughs> mapping. This would be a Taiwanese warm-up for sure. Yeah, I think uh, the big thing about France is that they have their roster, their core roster of Poon, Musty, Nero. Um, these guys are excellent at really high difficulty maps, which doesn't really complement their skill set when they're in the group stage and also why they they do seem to struggle in these earlier stages the consistency on the lower star maps maybe isn't there yeah that's what caused them some problems last year 
Um, I mean, I'm with the group they have this year, you can't really begrudge them. They got a, the short end of the stick, but they have the players that can do well on these other stages. Players like Musty have excellent, just consistent accuracy, which is extremely important in these early group stage matches where you have a lot of accuracy walls. But it really has been just that low-end consistency that has stunted them. But no doubt, like, once they get into the harder pools, France really start start stepping up. They always have. I just got to get out of groups. That's just the one thing they seem That's to be failing thing. to do. <laughs> Their Achilles heel. There we go. Taiwanese warm-up completed. Seas all around. Oh, that be be though. Yeah, Shield and Muha. At least two of the players have turned up. That's a good start. <laughs> That's a pretty wacky warm-up. The best kind of warm-ups. I mean, a lot of people look at the Taiwanese roster and, you know, people will say, Oh, there's, there's no... Oh, there's no... There's no H-Fick. No H-Fick. We can always oh. believe, right? We can believe for the comeback. Yeah. Let's come back to us in a ray of light. But like, even even though those two are undoubtedly like massively important, it's the the new generation that has stepped up. The likes of Flask, the likes of Riser and Shield have done just as much work in the same teams as those guys in the previous tournaments. And they oh, yeah, did this... really well last year, even without those names. And I just yeah, this... to see it again this year. Finishing fifth, well, fifth or sixth, finish getting knocked out in that place. It's really impressive stuff. And as you said, the Taiwanese roster is definitely not short of big. Well, I think we're going to see the French warm up now. And this one's mapped by Mr. Zom. So we're seeing the uh, the maps from the players, which is always great. Always good fun to see stuff like this as warm ups. I think we've heard this song like 10 times now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is going to be a very long warm up. <laughs> Epiphany, it actually looks like Nero, does it now? Nero face reveal. I'm kind of curious what the background's gonna be. It's a three second map, I think we've listened to it for about 30. This is like those uh, multi-lobbies you get into where they take so long to change the song that, and then they pick something that's like 30 seconds long and take two minutes to start and you've listened to it four times, just sat there going crazy. Yeah. Like, so you got put this just 10 second map and you got someone in the lobby that downloads like five kilobits because it's just like... <laughs> Look oh. at this background. <laughs> <laughs> This is the high quality warm-ups we, we come to expect in, in the World Cup. Thing is, does this actually all the players like are off sync! Because this song is so short, they're all off sync as well. Oh my goodness. Shield coming through. <laughs> FC's, yo, 89% FC. Yes. Oh, the 1 100 from Muha and Sheena. Actually, no, 69% FC actually. So <laughs> 69%. My, my favorite, favorite one all weekend. Some good old Ming Ak there on the three second map. That's the, that's some high quality stuff. That's really set a tone for how this match is going to be, and I'm really looking forward to this one. Yeah. Question is, is can France pull out the bag? That is the question. No doubt, they are a very good team, but they do need to pull something out here, as we said earlier. The permutations really is uh, against Taiwan and in the next match against Mexico. Oh, oh wait. Sorry, Poon just rolled 100. Whoa. Where's the Where's digit it? rolls, though? Uh, some intimidation factor. You should get a point for that. Come on. <laughs> just, just win the match instantly. You roll 100, you just win. Yeah. It's like you just top deck Exodia or something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah um, as I was saying about the permutations, they can't afford to drop any more than two maps in their next two matches. For they need to either 5-0 Mexico and 5-2 Taiwan or drop one map against each and win. Or 5-0 Taiwan, 5-2 Mexico. They need some really big performances, need big wins. Otherwise, they are going home. Taiwan, they have two wins under the belt. 
a win here. We'll see them top the group, no questions asked. First band coming in then from Taiwan. They're banning out Hidden 2, which is Pendulum Cross. Crush, sorry, the uh, AR8 hidden map. Uh, they believe they banned this earlier against Hong Kong. So obviously not feeling comfortable on that, that low approach rate hidden. France will follow up banning Hard Rock 2, which is Halequin, the streamier Hard Rock. I believe a map that Taiwan did pick in the match against Mexico. So obviously not feeling comfortable taking on the Taiwanese. It's one of the trickier ones, hey, look. Taiwan doing well on it, then you really wouldn't want to chance it again. That, and it's also incredibly tough to accuracy that map as well, in particular. As for Crush, it's the AR8 ban. But France have some very good AR8 players, and they did have a four-way FC, I believe, in the previous map on that. Oof, that is a scary thing to see. I definitely would, I'd definitely be in uh, France's shoes here, banning, banning away Helicon. Oh, they did extremely well on it for sure. First pick then coming from France is going to be Nano Dreamcatcher. Now this is a pick I actually expected from Taiwan, as they picked it in both their matches already. But they've always opted it as a, as a sort of a, a finishing pick, picking it as their last map of the match. So France obviously feeling confident. They have a very good no mod roster. Poon and Must be and Nero as their core. Very high accuracy and consistency, and perfect for this kind of match. Even though this is a, con a consistency map, or well, I would call it that, it's it's got some elements to it that are quite tricky to be consistent on. For a few sort of elongated sliders, we just have to follow them, otherwise you can drop slider ends and drop back. Really rough in the group stage to do that. But it also has a bunch of cut streams throughout, especially in the choruses. And uh, those can be tricky, you have to time them extremely well to not just slip up. You see a lot of people choking on those parts in particular. Yeah, and I think if you miss like if you miss the first cut stream, it can, uh, can sometimes knock your confidence in the future ones. You're like, oh no, I really need to focus on my aim, make sure I get this right, and then you need to lead to dropping accuracy, as you said, which is super important at this point. Going to see Muha coming to finish out the France roster for Taiwan. They're going to throw in Shield, Shino, Noriko, GF, MRT, and Ryza as their starting lineup. An old guard lineup there for Taiwan. All four players have played in this. Before. Know what to do. On this first map, that's that's really handy to have. Confidence, I'd imagine, would be exude from that four players. So like have France. As well. Yeah, France definitely a really solid roster. As you said, Muha the only new player in that start. Quickly as the match starts, then prediction for this match: who's going to win? Oof. God, I mean, uh, to be honest, I want to see France win just so this group goes down to the wire. But we'll see, we'll see. It's hard to call this one. It could easily go anyway. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to say Taiwan. I just, I just don't see France taking down the Giants. I'd love to see it, as you said. If, if France, the thing is, is even if France. One five three. It's it's still not enough for them to qualify, and that would just be even more heartbreaking. Nice slow intro to ease the players in. Maybe this is why France has picked this. It gives them a chance to, you know, the first map, your adrenaline's at the highest. A nice slow intro to get yourself going. But the song so will pick up shortly. Here's where the cut streams come in, though. See if we start splitting them up in the first chorus here. We will see a miss. Shield going to drop on that first cut stream. Early advantage over to the French side. I think this is exactly what they're going to need. If they can get themselves that first point, they can put themselves in a really good position. Especially when it's their own pick. One break on the cut stream. Last little jump here. Good early start here for France. Solid start from all of them. Just shield with that unfortunate break, really. Another thing that's really important about missing those cut streams on this map is it tanks your accuracy. You see every player 
who hasn't broken, you know, they're 99.6 and above. They're all like one or one, one or two 100s where Shield has got 98.5 and that's really bringing his score down. You see that everyone rocking 300k. And actually, there was a miss from Ryzo, which I didn't see. So actually, two breaks from the Taiwanese side. Almost broke around the same point here, Shield. This bit's relatively calm as well. Time to back up that score. Not a lot until the next chorus. Where the cutstreams come in again with the jump spikes. Jump spikes a little bit more tougher in the, the final two courses, just by a bit. Wouldn't be a beat map without some jump spikes, huh? Yeah, 2018, everything's gotta have jumps in it. Cutstream. And a third miss from Taiwan, Sheena gonna drop. And this is Francis. Francis is bringing it home at this point. Yeah, Sheena broke twice actually. There, I mean, four FCs to one, three FCs to one. The only SS left on the board on the hands of Muha for France. Can they lock it out? Oh, Nero breaks, so no four man FC. Another break from Sheena, well, and this is pretty much over. Ending flourish. A very solid win, just what France needed. A good win. Very strong. But I don't want to say anything about that bottom left player. Nothing to see there. Nah. Nobody look at the bottom left. Okay, we can look now. Nice SS, Muha. Well played from him. And well played from France. The perfect start that they needed here. And that is a very, very solid SS there for Muha. His teammates as well, bringing it up with excellent accuracies as well. Just one 100 and two 100s in a 50 from the Poon and Musty. Good pick for them. Big rip for Ryzer, that one miss, zero 100, zero 50. Oh, it's a tragedy, that is. That's painful. It's just real painful. Oh. But... A pick that has always gone Taiwan's way is now in the hands of France. And, well, Taiwan do have a chance to fight back. Do you see the light ahead? Only early days. They have plenty more picks where they've been strong on in the past. But on the consistency pick, France showing their consistency. That's exactly what they need. Where do you expect Taiwan to go from here? Potential for a free mod pick? I think it'd be a good shout. They have a lot of mod specialists on that team. And the two free mods are relatively safe, I'd say. For both Hard Rock and Hidden Play. But no, they said they're going to be going for some DT. Yeah, uh, DT1. Oh, sorry, yeah, you're right, it's DT2. Hane no Naki Cho, the more finger control y style DT map of the two. The lower BPM at 215, but. Definitely in the comfort range of all the players. This is interesting. Yeah, somewhat older style, but also quite interesting. I would have expected France to have been more on the DT train than Taiwan. We saw them, uh, France pick both the DT maps in their other match against Hong Kong. Admittedly, they lost both picks, so they may have lost confidence in the DT, but I did expect France to be the ones to pick the DT. I think, to be honest, both. DTs are actually quite quite comfy for both. I figure both of them would be eyeing them up. Although, yeah, France was uh, leaning towards them much more heavily. Taiwan are going to be perfectly fine on this, I think. Uh, apologies that the stars at the top of the screen haven't been updated. The score is currently 1-0 to France. Hopefully we can get that fixed shortly. We saw a couple of new names join us. We've seen Zane join in for the Taiwanese team. Electrofire joining for France here. That core French roster of Poon, Musty, and Nero. Do you think we'll see much substitution of those three during this match? Um, I don't think so. Those three are sort of the, the three backbones of the team. I think that fourth slot is very much a utility. For the specialists. I think we'll see uh, quite a bit of Ryzen, uh, Ryzen being a uh, 
really good Nomad player. Probably come in for a lot of this stuff, but those three can't see him changing unless for the really weird picks. Which I mean, there's no crush. And the Haliquin ban, don't think they'll be seeing much change. Good start from all eight players then. No issues with the early doubles or quads. And we're into the slightly speed up section now. No one's showing signs of breaking. Get very close, even on the act from just 5k of act difference. Splitting them up. And only 5k points, yeah. France with a slight lead. Mainly down to Zayn dropping his accuracy, but Ryza will find the first miss. And France once again taking an early advantage. That was the SS as well that broke. The SS player on the Taiwanese side. He's not having much luck with those, that high hack one miss, is he? Placed on these early stages. Next call, that's it. Multiples and first streams. Still just the one break. Okay, everyone making it through okay as we go into the solo. Yeah, lots of doubles and quads here. This bit's really tricky on the finger control. No issues, Twice. though. Yep. Just some act drop on uh, Electro Fire side, but you still can't. Four FCs to three as we enter the final chorus here. The window is closing on a Taiwan comeback here. Yeah, they're going to need two breaks from France, or maybe even three, but... Given that score lead now upwards of about 400,000, it just doesn't seem feasible for a comeback and France are going to steal away Taiwan's first pick and... Well... I'm starting to believe, Doom. So I'm starting to believe that France can make it. Maybe too need. soon. It's still early days, but they needed a strong start. Because Taiwan had all the momentum. They've won two. France needed to open this one up with a bang and they have. And it starts out with that. Uh, break point with a four way FC with three 99% schools, almost four. Electro Fire very nearly getting 99. I don't think, has there been a team with more score on this map? Because those accuracies are incredible for this map. Yeah, it's actually a really incredible performance from France. They've really turned up to this one. Poon with the two 100s, Riser also two 100s, and the one miss. If Riser can just stop missing. And Taiwan would be right back in this. It's really unfortunate when this happens. Yeah, it's unlucky. Happens to everyone. Plenty of time yet. And I think even with those accuracies, it didn't even matter on that. France starting dominant. It's their pick again. Do you think more no mod? Or do you think they'll be like, oh, actually, our DT's not too bad and go for the other DT map? Which they can't do because it was banned, wasn't it? Oh, no, no, it wasn't. No. They can pick the other DT map. Yeah, they can do. It's quite different to that one, but with them picking the DTs in the past, I wouldn't be surprised to see it. Going straight into another DT might be a good shot. But Taiwan did do well on this. They did have three FCs. At the moment, though, with their consistency being on point, it might be a good idea to go for some of those longer maps. Maybe even a Clock Strikes pick wouldn't be a bad shout. They did ban out Hard Rock, so if they're not feeling comfortable on the mod in general, then Clock Strikes may not be where they want to go, but oh, the, the yeah. style of Hard Rock maps between Haliquin and Clock Strikes, they are very different maps. Yeah, Clock Strikes is, it's very, even for like a Hard Rock map, it's quite simple. But maybe they just don't want to play it. But I think it yeah. might be a decent pick for them, to be honest, but they're not going for it. They're going to stick with their No Mod and Rewrite Terrorism, the 280 BPM alternation style map will be their next selection. Gotta go fast. 280 BPM. Question is who's single tapping? Who's stepping up? I, one thing I will mention about the match earlier between yourself and China is you obviously you're you know you you're a single tap player and you rewrite terrors and this kind of BPM is your like you love this, right? But you were SSing and then there was that one stream after the break where you decided to alternate and you dropped like three 100s <laughs> and I was like, yep, that's what you get for alternating. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, the thing is with that stream, it's like, I single tap it, but I alternate that stream because it's quite long. So that's, I should have single tapped it. 
Should have single tapped it. But I guess better a couple of 100s than a miss, right? A uh, reminder for everyone that France needs to win this match 5-2 if they hope to stay in the World Cup. They started out great and time for them to make it 3-0. A long spinner at the start. And then, uh, lost the stops here as well. Ryzen coming in for this no mod. GFM mods coming in as well. Saw a very early break from Musty, only about 10 combo in. Shouldn't mean too much if there's breaks from the Taiwanese side. A 4 way FC is super unlikely on a map like this. You can pretty much break at any point. Difficulty of the map constant from start to finish. Might have been some early, just getting used to the speed and the style. We saw some of that from Shield as well, he's got a bit of ass, but he's still holding the button in the lane. I definitely found his feet now and on his way, but the accuracy side from Taiwan, other than Shield, is down under 98, it's looking incredible. Three players upwards of 99.75. Not matched by a single French player. Ryzen breaks. That one's gonna hurt. They're rapidly approaching the halfway mark and no breaks from Taiwan, giving them a fairly substantial score lead, which is only gonna grow. Not gonna get too far away, but the longer this goes on. Look at that score lead's gonna grow. It's not in 150k here. And they see at the break now where they stand. The SS was dropped on the side of Taiwan, but the four man full combo putting them in a really good spot. Oh the And raisin breaks! At least it was Ryzen and not the other three members of France, but they really need breaks from Taiwan and soon. Yep, final chorus. Again, consistent in the style, not a lot changes, and at the moment, Taiwan have been extremely consistent on this style. Not looking good for France. They need breaks, and they need more than one player to drop now. I think it's too late at this point. The final slither of map will be Taiwan's first point in this match. And every point that Taiwan scores is crushing to France's hopes of getting out of groups. Big spin the round out. I think Ryze, did Ryzen miss, uh, Ryzen miss the spinner? I think he did. I think he just did spin it. I think he knew, and yeah. Unfortunate for France, Taiwan will get themselves on the board. Musty with that reverse choke special. With the act though as well. Joint best act in the room, apart from that 50. Yeah, Poon and Zane, 99.69. Flask as well, 99.24. GFMRT, 99% as well. Really good accuracy across the board, but it was down to the misses on the side of France. Can't do much about a four-man four FC. No, that's just Taiwan just flexing right now on that. And that's rough. France can't afford to drop any more than one more point now if they want to get out of the group. But the way they've been playing, certainly not over yet. That was just a ridiculous Taiwan performance just to keep them at bay. Unfortunately, that pick didn't work out too well for France. Taiwan have the reins here. Still two no mods left. Oh, wow, OK. They are, they're going to be going for clock strikes then. Taiwan going for that. They did pick this earlier against Hong Kong. I don't remember if they won it or not, but I can have a quick look. They did indeed, so being in Hong Kong, which is a very scary team, on a map like this puts them in a good stead. Definitely feeling confident about it as that match was played earlier. Not sure how how the French roster will stand on a map like this. Well, earlier on, their consistency seemed pretty good. And on that last one, they did well in terms of consistency as well. And this, it truly is a consistency pick. 
it's hard work, but the style is very simple. It's very comfortable, but it is quite long. It is the map where you can be on your merry way, hacking it just fine, and then you just drop a note here and there. It, it really is one of those maps. But with the consistency these two teams have been on, I think both of them will be thinking they should be okay on this. So yeah, the Taiwan being fresh on it and playing earlier, it makes sense for them to pick it, but I think this one could be quite close. Come down to the odd dodgy miss here and there. I see so many matches in group stage. Real rough, just real knocks on confidence as well when you see the other team's four-man full comboed, but your team's only three-man full comboed and you were the player that missed. Starts putting doubt in your mind. The group stage is one of the most brutal stages in, in No Sport Cup just because like singular misses from one or two players can decide to... It's fine margin. And that's what the group stage is there for. It's there for the consistency test. But when you get matches like this, with two very strong teams, it becomes even more tense. Especially when France are fighting for their lives. Yep. It's up to them. We're seeing Electrofire stepping in on this one for Nero. Nero doesn't usually hold the kind of ack you may need in a matchup like this. So I guess he's stepping out for Electrofire here for that reason. Riser coming back in for GFMRT. And the way he was acting earlier, that's a good choice. Yeah, Ryze is actually definitely one of his strong suits. Just He's maybe taken a map out, reset his head. Come back in, hoping not going to miss this time. I think Clock Strikes was one of the first songs that I ever really played when I started playing Os. So this map has a lot of nostalgia for me, and I expect it could have a lot of nostalgia for some of the players as well. It's a classic. It really is. It's a long one. It's a nerve wracker the start here for both teams. For France. Yeah, and the accuracy lead in general for France as well. You can see Shield dropping down to low 98%, but actually Electrify down to 97. The score's getting very close again. Just got the noses in front of me. But I suspect there's going to be a miss from at least one player in this game. Right I've seen one eight-man FC in a match I commentated yesterday, and that was, you know, that's some scary stuff when you see all eight players full combo. So that was Canada, Germany, and I think it was the first map of the match as well. Yeah. Halfway through, no breaks just yet. Slight lead for Taiwan as we can see the buffering from Bancho, the 3,000 points. All that separates these two. Oh, and a break from Riser just before the halfway mark. Oh no. That is brutal. And they see it at the break. They know what's up. Riser has had no luck this match. See the smoke. Actually, it doesn't matter when it's a combo game. A bit as well, France to get a little bit of score advantage here, but it's not going to be a lot. That halfway break probably means that Ryzo won't be able to get more than probably about 700,000 points if he full combos the rest. And every single note the French team are hitting are pulling them in further and further away. Oh, a break from Electrifier! Oh, the whiff! 3 FCs to 3, Ryzer with a minor combo advantage, but they have a lot to make up. This might come right down to the end, another break would be the deciding factor here, but the yeah, final well, chorus. One more and it's all over. Taiwan are coming back. 100k and closing, but I don't think it's going to have enough time as it stands. The fancy to hold on. A break from there and it's going to turn immediately. But this 
accuracy. It's so insane. I don't think there's enough time. I think France will clinch this one into the spin. Yeah. They've got to spin like crazy, but there's about 70,000 points and it's not going to happen. Shield with a little bit of lag, but it won't make the difference. Nah. France will win clock strikes. They do get it. Going down to the wire. Three FCs to three and the accuracy is across the board. Beggar's belief. 200s from the Poon. 500s from Musty. Three 100s from Ryzen, bringing it back after his choke. And ditto, Zane, Flask, and Shield as well, with excellent accuracies and combos. Still in it. France are not done yet. They do get the next pick. I believe Shield actually hasn't submitted his score yet, so he might have disconnected right at the end of the match. See how it goes in the chat, but I mean, I don't think Shield could have possibly made that up at that point. I want to give a quick shout out to Poon. The guy has full comboed every map so far with incredible accuracy, and he's really turned up today and doing a lot of work for the French side. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the man, he's the tournament veteran more than any other in recent times for France. Players can be looking to him to spit ahead things, and he's doing a good job so far. It has been very close. Taiwan, I've been trading blows. And like I say, if Taiwan get one more point, France's chances are in jeopardy. And to confirm that, Shield did DC at the end of the map, which means it doesn't matter, and France will still get that point. So it's still 3 to 1. France actually, I believe, have won both picks from Taiwan. It's been a real, real steel game. With France only winning their first pick. Shields getting crashed at the last spin. And apparently Poon crashed as well, but I guess after the spinner. <laughs> That's real. Actually quite interesting fact about the Poon setup. The Poon, I believe, plays in wine. He plays in a Linux. Which surprised me when I first heard about it. I managed to get that running pretty well. It's very uncommon. Especially at high level play. I expect it just... He probably doesn't have that many uh, technical difficulties running on Linux. So you don't have all the hundreds of thousands of processes that Windows gives you that slows your PC down. But yeah. It's a hell of a lot more efficient for your system. I wonder how much frames he gets. I don't know, like, I mean, I, I'm not terribly familiar with Linux, but it just, it feels like getting Windows stuff to run on it would be a little bit inefficient, but maybe I'm wrong. Actually, I'm probably 100% wrong. Next French pick then, Indifferences. Another no mod from the French side. The technical no mod pick. And my favourite map of the pool. It is a good map. Well, I, I love map. this map. I think this one splits opinion a bit. I've heard some people saying they like, and others saying just ugh. But it's it's weird, and these maps are always going to do that. Yeah, it has its gimmicks. So it's kind of a map broken into two parts. Your first part being these overlapping slider triple patterns, which once you get it down, they're not too bad and they're actually very similar for all the patterns, but you can easily break at any point during them. And in the second half, this sl this long slider jumpy section, which is, I think just a quirk of the map, but all located on the bottom half of the screen, other than the, the high bells, which are on the top half, which is a really nice gimmick for the map. And it, I think it just plays really great. I didn't actually realize that's how the, the mapping went with the song. That's actually really cool. Now, now you, you spell it out for. But yeah, um, this map having some tricky alternating, yeah, you got to be on point. Rhythm Sense has to be on point for those alternating triangles and those overlapping patterns in the first and the latter half. It's, well, you can sort of play it more like a modern tech map with all those slider spammy stuff, but the angles they are can be a little bit off. 
far don't think these two teams are going to have any major problem, although I imagine there will be chokes. So, I think a load of people's questions, I think. Might yeah. Them. Hopefully we can get that all sorted. I think the one thing we found with this map is that most people don't tend to miss on what people would almost look at as being the harder section with the sliders in the second half. It actually plays super comfortable, and given that all the sliders are tickless, meaning that you don't have to hit the full slider just to actually get the combo for it, you don't see that many breaks. If they actually have the slider ticks in there requiring you to follow the full slider, I think we'd find a lot more misses in that section. Oh, God, yeah. That'd make the map a lot harder. I mean, it's already 4.7 stars. I mean, it's an easy map, right? 4.7 stars in a World Cup pool? Must yeah. be easy. Full star map, by the way. <laughs> which, uh, with which pool was it last last year? There was um, the um, oh the Kirby mix in the was it Grand Finals hidden map? And that was like four stars in the um, Grand Finals pool. Or was it the one before it? Um, there was switched on Lotus, wasn't there? Mm. In no mod, yeah. And that map's like, is that full star? I think it's high four star, yeah. Jeez. I remember looking at it and looking at this this map pool of sort of high six star, seven star maps, and then it's like four stars, and you're like, oh, okay. But when you see a four star map, like in among seven star maps, you just know what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, looks like we're just about set up. We have our squad. It move her coming back in after playing the early maps. GF, MRT, and Sheen and Enrico coming in for this one. Seeing the return of Flask, one of the mainstays of the Taiwanese roster here. Well, that's a very well known emote, which we can just see Cavo put in chat. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The next map Technical No Mod. Picked by France. The Nero also returns, actually. Sorry, Nero. The Nero, yeah. The, the Nero. Nero. <laughs> well, he is the Nero. There's only one Nero. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Pretty straightforward start then to this map, and it'll pick up fairly soon into this slider triple overlapping patterns. Wonder if we'll see any break early break. Oh wow, that is that is a very, very early break. Not a break you would expect to ever really see, but hopefully being early won't make too much of a difference. The harder parts of the map are to come. I think it was just a case of adjusting to the start. Move her, it was a bit slow on that. We see a more significant break from Shield as he misaims one of the overlaps. Gets a couple of 50s as well. His actually has dropped down to 96. Matching that now with Muha. One SS oh on both sides. But Flask breaks as I oh. mentioned it. Oh, and that's that's a big one. That is a big one. That's on a like a neutral part of the map. That was a bit of a choke there from Flask. And that's giving the lead to France here. But here comes the slider spam section at the bottom of the screen. Another harder part. Once you get mentioned about that the notes are all in the lower half, you can't unsee it, and it's a really cool part. As I said, players find this easy to combo. And everyone holding so far. And everyone gets through. But it's France putting away, thanks to their three full combos on Poon, Musty, and Nero, this core roster for France doing work this match. They really are putting in work. They needed to step up, and they are. Not a lot left. They choke here to basically just turn the computer off. And another full combo for Poon. Making him five for five. And another point for France. They're on match point. And as it goes, if they get this next point and they win the match, they have a good chance of making it out of the groups. This is pretty crazy. It is Taiwan's pick though next. But it is all that France needed. All they're hoping for. Poor Flask, man. That one miss on an easy part. That's just so unfortunate. It happens to the best of us. 
and it's happened to Flask this time. That's so unfortunate, man. And a slider break from Shield as well, not doing Taiwan any favors. But it's so easy to make, break on those patterns. It happens to the best of them. And I would be more intimidated by Taiwan's pick here, but normally when they're in trouble or coming to the end of the match, Taiwan have been opting for Nomad 1, Nano Dreamcatcher, and that map's already been played and France won it. So they haven't got that. They need plan B. That's crazy. If, if France win this, then this group is blown wide open. That means I think any of the top three could potentially drop the ball, assuming that happens. But of course, it's not over yet. Taiwan have the ability to turn this one around. But as it stands, Scroop F is turning into something. Dude. I think the interesting thing is, is that Hong Kong actually are pretty safe. I think Hong Kong have actually qualified because they have a good win-loss in terms of the matches they've played. In terms of, so they've won five more maps than they've lost. If France beat Taiwan, let's say they beat them 5-1, it's mean that Taiwan has a two map advantage and France has a zero map, uh, no, a one map advantage, meaning that they have to beat Mexico 5-1 in order to progress. If they beat them 5-0, they just qualify straight out. If they beat them 5-1, I don't know who progresses. Is it the winner of this match? And if it's France, it means that Taiwan doesn't make it out of groups? If, if Taiwan lose, they lose five maps. So they'll be on nine maps lost. Hong Kong are on eight maps lost. I think if France five over Mexico, that means Taiwan go out. Hong Kong or France progress. I mean, we're saying this early. This match is not over yet. But this oh, group definitely. is this group has been blown wide open. Can't help but speculate. But I mean, Taiwan still have every single chance here to get through. This is going to come down to the wire. I can. I, I've got that feeling. I mean, we have the one match later, the France Mexico match, and given the outcome of this, that could be the match to keep an eye on later. Yeah, let's get back to the... I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. They are still picking. Taiwan are thinking this one through. It's just too exciting, man. It's just too exciting. Here it comes. The pick from the Taiwanese side. It is solar. It is hidden. And a map that I wouldn't say is really favoured for either team. I think they're just running out. I'm surprised Taiwan haven't taken the free mod maps. I honestly, I honestly think with their, as you said, they have a very versatile roster and the variation of mods that they could have used, I would have thought it would have been in their favor here. But they're going to go for hidden. Yeah, fairly tricky hidden pick, lots of stacked kick slider patterns all the way through this two minute or so map. Quite standard though, the hidden players are going to be just at home of this. But it can be a tricky one for the non-hidden. Some of those stacks can be quite tricky to read. The rosters appear to be in. We've seen Dazzle Wind come in for this one. Is this his first appearance in this match? It's time for him to step it up. He is in for this. Yeah, this point means quite a lot. They're Brand trusting in Dazzle Wind. Unchanged, I think. Yeah, yeah. the same. Seen this roster a lot of times actually during this match. Muha seems to be a, a good addition to the French roster. He's performed very well. It's time. Match point for France. Or can Taiwan bring this back? This is their pick. And they fought it through. Very early act drops from Nero. Blask as well drops under that 99%, where everyone else adjusting very comfortably. Ooh, identical breaks from Muha and GFMRT. Cancelling each other out. Saving France just by a whisker, but that's barely nothing. Oh, but there goes Nero as well. Two FCs to three in favour of Taiwan here as we enter the uh, slightly more intense part here. Oh, 
Taiwan with the full combo advantage. But the accuracy on GM GF MRT is keeping that score gap fairly close. Muhar is recovering slightly. Still a double S on Poon and Dazzlewind, the player stepping in for this map, showing that he well deserved the spot. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. The stream sections, everybody making it through so far. Look intense. It's still as you were. BFCs to two. The breaks are bringing it back. Everyone's done that harder section. Solid stuff from everyone in the room. But I think this one might be going to Taiwan. And that is going to be heartbreak for France. If Taiwan finishes off and it looks like they were. I think qualification for France now is very hard they have to beat mexico well if they win this match let's start with that if they win the next pick they then have to beat mexico 5-0 in order to qualify out of the group stage the pressure is it's 100 on now this is really their last chance i think it's accuracy is though we see two ss's from the poon no surprise there and dazzle win dazzle win stepping in like a champ getting the point for his team with an excellent performance, and that is hard to do, especially in a matchup like this. You just step in for one map and show no fear. Seven out of eight of the players getting 99%. GMF MRT almost there, 98.73. But all around good stuff, but it is Taiwan's point. But now France's pick. It is do or die now. This is last chance saloon. France can't lose another map. If they lose a map now, they are out regardless. And the pick's going to be DT1, Hoki Boshi. They would be saying, wouldn't we? They like the DT. They like the DT in the, the group stages here, and they are going to be chancing it here. Given the, the performance earlier on the DT map, this could be a very good pick for France. But given that performance from Taiwan, I mean, Morale and motivation and the pressure that France is going to be under can really make a difference. This is a pretty generic double time map. So for consistency wise, the French side have shown good consistency. This pick can really go either way. We have seen them come out on top of the two, so they've played Nano Dreamcatcher, the no mod consistency or as you would be as consistency as any of those no-mod maps get, and they did win that. And then we also see them win on Clock Strikes, the consistency hard rock map. So it could be a good sign. So the new officers get set up for this one. Electrofire in the hill once again. Ryzen, we can never turn. Zane comes in for this TT pick as well. Quite a tricky one to act this. OD8 with, well, relatively high speed. The accuracy is very important. It's not very jumpy, this. It's not very mechanically intensive, especially if you're handy with DT, but the act is, is a tricky one with that high overall difficulty. I mean, when it comes to Ak, Ryzer has been showing the Ak. Let's hope he can keep his nerve and make use of that Ak. If he does, it's going to be a tough one for France. So have fun, good luck. Being thrown into the. This is do or die for France, I believe. We're just getting a double checks in the back. So if anything is different, we will obviously let you know. But bless RNG for France. Here we go. Another 
the map with consistent difficulty. No major spikes to be talking about in here. A few little three note and five note streams, but mostly just single taps and a few kick sliders apart from that. Consistent all the way through. And that BPI at 235 is well within every single player's comfort range here. Taking an early lead thanks to the accuracies on the Poon and Ryzen. No problems in the first goal. Just the app. Just stare at that score with the bottom. The smallest thing is of course I have to shoot one way or the other. Nah, I just don't wanna, don't wanna focus on a single player. I don't wanna do any cursing here. The SS's are gone, so we can't curse that at least. One less thing that can go wrong. Less moving parts, it's always good. Past the halfway mark and not a single miss from any player. Oh, all they're seeing, it's only a whisker ahead in favour of France here. 21,000 points, the difference at the break. Massive act drop from and, Dazzlewind. And Musty. The lead is entirely in favour in terms of the act as we approach the final call. These scores are so close to be flickering. Tiny bit of map left. Any break now is going to decide this. This is getting so close. France's life on the line here. Drops from Dazzle win. They're still ahead, but only by a whisker. They're approaching the end of the map and they're still ahead. No way we're going to see an A-man FC. It's so close. Oh, wow. And they're holding it together, it looks like. Just about. Oh my god. France. That is heartbreak. Well, that's it for France's hopes of progression. Shield missed. He missed the last note. Oh, wow. It's not enough, though. It might oh, have been a bit of a choke, but it's not going to matter. 26,000 points will knock France out of the World Cup. Yep. Taiwan will... Seal their progression with that point. That guarantees they will go through. And at the very least, in one of the top two spots. Because France can't break into that now on maps lost. An attempt was made. The match is not over yet. France can still end it on a high, but their progression hopes are now over. But man... What a heartbreaking way to go out. That was so close. And That's it was so a 4 painful. FC. It was an 8, yeah, no, it was 7, it was 4 AFC for France, but I mean, Shield did miss the last note. Either way, it's still painful, and, well, at least France do still have some impact in the World Cup. If they do manage to beat Taiwan here, they can determine their seeding, progressing out of groups. Yeah. This can potentially put Hong Kong the unseeded team, let's not forget. Top of Group F, which considering this group was the group of death, that's insane, even for Hong Kong. Kicks on S. Next pick then for Taiwan, as we can see from the players, are breasts or politely leave? Yes. We are we are respectable gentlemen here on the, uh, on the cast. We are two lovely British chaps and we are Never going to utter inappropriate words on this live stream. You didn't say, like, put some shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Sorry, I mean rear ends. Thank you. Actually, um, another point as well on the Hong Kong is actually the second year in a row. The top of the group. If Taiwan finished second, it would be the second time in a row, which is actually insane. Definitely the. Definitely the most underrated roster, I think, True. on paper. I think last year, though, they were low seed as opposed to unseed. Of course, that depends on results, but it's a possibility we could see them top the group again. So then this is the final pick of this match before we go into the tiebreaker. If France win this, Hong Kong top the group. If Taiwan win this, and then France still win, I believe Taiwan still top the group on 
on maps one, as they'll have 14 maps one total to Hong Kong's 13. Yeah, it's looking like if France win this, that should put Hong Kong top of the group. But if Taiwan get this next point, I think they're first. But we'll see. Here it goes. France may be out, but they have plenty of time to make a mark on this tournament. They are not out. Done yet. In terms of that. We're seeing four mods for France. No no mod players. Three hard rocks and one hidden. Where Taiwan taking a one no mod, one hidden, and two hidden hard rocks. So, in terms of the mod advantage, I think it's pretty even given the double mods for two players for Taiwan. Can't do the maths quick enough to know who actually would have a lead here on an eight-way FC. At the moment, the accuracy is putting Taiwan ahead. The guard rising with a few act drops, but he's still holding his combo. Yeah, the two less than 99 percent on Horizon and Poon are really bringing that French score down. You see Taiwan already having about a 70,000 point lead. Go into the short break in the midsection. Time for a bit of free combo. But Zane misses. How do you miss? Oh, Zane, oh. that's so painful. That's Just as the slow section starts, and this will slowly but surely put France back in front. in a good spot now to help Hong Kong on the way. Just the end to go though, but it's still mighty close. Oh, Ooh, break from Poon! Break from Poon! Break from Flask! Oh, okay. That's so he might just, uh, he's still fine. And it means that France are well on their way to winning this map. And the match. And they will indeed, only a sliver left, enough points in their bank. And this piece of France will beat Taiwan the 5 to 3. But they will not progress out of the group stages. Taiwan will, but they will not be first. The top seed of Group F will go through second, while the unseeded team of Hong Kong will top the group. Jesus. A slider is a slider break from the poo. That's really unfortunate. Solid act from him, though. But his FC streak is broken on the last map, but he got the job. They will take that point and they will take the win against the top seed team. So, hey, even though France might not have made it into the next round, 